Hey, it's Christine Horn, actress and life and career coach for actors. I want to welcome you to another actor success story. And today I have my lovely Marilee. I'm not going to even try to mess up your last name. So I want you to say it, but she, before, let me kind of introduce her. She has been rocking with me with the Booking Magnet Academy. She's an OG member of the Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook community, like one of the founding members, as well as for the Booking Magnet Academy. Um, and you've really just made some, she's made some huge strides. She has lots of stuff to share with you. So ladies and gentlemen, Miss Marilee Mejias. Mejias. Yes, I like to say my whole name though, Mary Lee Kateri Mejias. <laughs> and we used to go back and forth at what the stage name was going to be, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm well, Mary Lee, first of all, thank you for being part of my success story um, and for accepting uh, the call to do it. Um, I just know there's so many, I get to see you and see your progress over the years. And I'm like, man, I just want to highlight her. Can you share with the audience who you are, where you from, what you do? Yeah, so I, I'm an actress. I'm also a commercial lifestyle model. Yeah. I've done everything from commercials to independent films to docu docudramas, uh, theater, a little bit of theater, um, which that was sort of the sort of the connect between me and, and Christine Horn, which I'll, I'm sure I'll get into that in a moment. Um, yeah, I've even done, you know, TV shows, background work, but, you know. For now, for now. Somewhere. You have to start somewhere. So I kind of done it. I kind of done a little bit of everything um, in the, uh, industrial films. I, my, I was based out of Baltimore, the DMV area, and that's where I got the bulk of my work. Mm -hmm. um, I first started in 2005. 2005 was my first big TV film type of job, but it was just background work. So that was my first taste of acting. Okay. Um, 2008 is when I decided to make it a career. And then it wasn't until 2010 where things started actually working out for me. I started to actually get the real auditions and right. started to learn how things um, work in this industry and made me realize that this is a lifelong journey. It isn't something that just... I mean, some people win the actor lottery and get discovered overnight and have this yeah. career. That's but the exception. <laughs> yeah, you can't you can't bank on that. You can't plan on that. You have to put in the work. So, um, you know, yeah. So. Um. Yeah. How do we get connected? Because I mean, you we've been in the same ethers now for so long. I don't remember. How did you start? What? How did we get connected? So I knew about Christine way before you knew about me. Um, I because we have a mutual friend, Saquon Sengo, who's an amazing actress, by the way. Yes. And, um, I met her through Marley, uh, a musical, which was um, a musical show at uh, Broadway. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Baltimore Center Stage. Okay. She told me about you. I think once we finished the run, she told me about you, and I was asking her about oh the New York market. At this time, I was still in Baltimore, and um. I was asking her about the New York market and acting and things like that. And she was like, you know, let me put you on to Christine Horn. She's a life and career coach. She's also does amazing thing for act, things for actors. And so I went on your website and I stopped, stopped, you stopped. I, I saw all your reels. <laughs> I saw everything that you've done. I'm like, yeah, she's legit. She's legit. And then, Don't worry. You're not alone. That, that's how, <laughs> that's how it usually starts. Yeah. 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 I was like, oh, yes. And her web, your website was just completely, it blew me, it blew me away. You had so much credits and so much, there was so much to you. I had to like look at it in like sections, like at a time. Um, anyway, so I kind of always knew about you, but it wasn't until like maybe what, 2017. So I found out about you 2016, 2015. We didn't really connect about what, 2017? That's yeah, because that's when I moved back to Los Angeles and I started doing a lot, the Actors Daily Bread series and it was a lot more consistent, yeah. Yeah, I don't know exactly how we, we connected online, but it was definitely the Hollywood Bound Actors. You tagged me in and you, you um, invited me, you tagged me, we somehow talked, you, in, you talked to me specifically, like it was like a personal um, reach out. Mm -hmm. And I liked that because I was like, oh, this, I feel special. Like she's reaching out to me and like, this is, I know her. Right. Um, you know, so anyway, so I got into Hollywood Brown Actors and I got really into what the content that you were showing us there, you know, your daily, I looked forward to your daily videos. Like I was, her daily videos were so inspiring. Oh, God bless. And, yeah. They were incredibly inspiring. And I was learning so much and I realized I didn't know anything. Mm -hmm. Like when I got with you, I realized I knew nothing. And I feel like when you're in a smaller market, you can kind of develop an ego that does that to you. You think that you're like, you, you know enough 
or right. really know it all. I mean, I was never a know it all, but I felt like I knew enough until, um, you know, I realized I didn't know anything. Because you know, you you get to know your market, right? You know, and it's that whole big fish, small pond thing, mm -hmm. and then stepping it up, um, seeing what that really looks like. Um, I'm curious to know because um, for those of you watching, the first thing, Marilee, yes, she used to watch the Actors Daily Bread videos. So for those of you who haven't seen any of those, please check them out on YouTube. This over at the time of this recording, May 22nd, 2019, there's like 160 episodes, if, and if not more, plus the Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group. But then you stepped up, I always like to say, raised your hand, was like, give me more, and joined the Booking Magnet Academy. In, the, in its first inception, it was really created from the people who are like kept raising their hand for, with questions. So at first it was called the Get Book Mastermind for Actors. It was a hell of a long title. But now we've re-ramped that. But when we first started, like you talked about not knowing what you didn't know, but being open and, and, and thirsty for knowledge. So where did you feel like you were struggling the most? Especially because I know you have goals, you had had and have goals to do film and television and whatever. So where did you feel like the biggest struggle was for you? back then getting ready for a bigger market because I knew I was going to move I knew I had to move for one mm -hmm. if I wanted to graduate to the next level I had to move um I just uh, so you provided you it was kind of like you were like okay Mary let's sit down let's, <laughs> let's focus and that, I feel like that's what you gave me. you gave me focus and clarity kind of like streamlined like okay you know let's get let's stop being frivolous let's not you know let's let's get serious now what is your type Right. Um, what is your next step? And so you kind of just sat me down and, and helped me just kind of think clearly as to what my next steps were. And um, I wasn't really clear on my type. I wasn't yeah. clear on my type. My self tapes were horrible. And I was getting good auditions for my South, Southeast Asia. <laughs> you want to share that story about our first, our first coaching session? <laughs> Now, what everybody looking, you see how pristine, honey, Marilee's background is fierce. That's her new self tape. You see her lighting is popping. <laughs> so tell us this was not so we had our first coaching session or, or an early on one of our coaching sessions and i didn't say i did i even give you any corrections that day did i let it fly so you were so gracious and just smiling like this poor baby but i'm gonna help her anyway <laughs> we just gonna get through this little 30 minute session <laughs> figure it out later <laughs> let me tell you so i was just sitting down at my desk in my room I wasn't even standing up. I think I had like a little light right here. And this was a training session. I paid for a training session, which she was gracious enough to give me a discount on, by the way, because she knew I was trying to move. So she was like, save your money. I'm going to give you this and this and this. So this was a training session. This wasn't just let's talk and hang out and catch up. <laughs> this was a training session, y'all. I was not, I was not ready for it. I didn't present, I didn't give it the respect that it was, it was neat, it, that it was due. And because I was a little naive, I didn't realize. I didn't realize. So, um, yeah, I was sitting down. It was very casual. You could see all kinds of stuff in the back of my whole bedroom. <laughs> my, probably my cat was probably in and out of this. I don't oh, know. I didn't see the cat. I didn't see the cat. Like, so disrespectful. <laughs> so disrespectful. And then I think maybe a few, I don't know, not too long after you sent me something, um, a clip of what your actual sessions with your, with your actors should look like and i just a big smh a big poke my head like i will never do that again i apologize but look you, at you were standing up and you had your whole backup yeah you that drop and everything. you was ready to go like well, we're gonna do i was ready to, when i get my when i whenever i'm coaching if i'm coaching somebody because i don't do one-off coaching like that anymore except for my inner circle clients but i'm i'm standing up ready to work like let's get it and so, i just, and it's like we gotta meet halfway. And that's what I mean about um, you know, I I there's always more you can learn and you know, don't let that ego slip in because I just was just clueless on that. I didn't, I was too casual with it. And that speak and that wouldn't and interesting to say that. And for those of you watching, I know you can relate to this because A, I've seen some of y'all's tapes, number one. And B, we have to check ourselves. So I want to talk about the during. I like to talk about before, during, and after. So during, I know we've talked one-on-one, -on -one, we've had sessions, you've come to the Hollywood Bound live event in Atlanta. Like the work that has to happen inward, the resistance, the tediousness of researching and 
casting directors and workshops and why haven't I booked like all the mental stuff that can come up like what because a lot of actors don't like to talk about it they talk about it privately or they cry about it in their bed but like what was some of the stuff you personally had to push through to, to get to your to your next level whatever that was for you um well I think it started with being clear on my type I think that was something that I just wasn't clear on I think I was confused on it and therefore I think that confusion somehow seeps into how others will kind of per uh, perceive you. Mm -hmm. um, Cause I, I think if you don't know who you are, that just kind of, um, I think you just kind of come off as just confused. And I didn't, I didn't want to put that energy out. And I realized that, um, you know, there was a lot of internal personal work that you have to do. And I think that's just a lifelong path mm -hmm. that you're always be on. But um, to get a really good idea of who you are and then just kind of get your power from that. And then in a, in a way, kind of manipulate people. I mean, there's, there's a game we got to play in, yeah. in this industry. And, you know, stereotypes are part of that. And, um, but it, just getting a, a strong sense of your spirit and who you are is something that I had to. I've always been on that path. But I think with you, you helped me um, sort of understand what it means to work 90% of this um, industry and the whole 90% versus 10% which your agent does. And I think right. part of that 90% is stepping away from the business and working on this, mm -hmm. whatever this is, whatever you, whatever you spiritually believe, religiously believe, whatever your moral, your moral compass is, what, all that you right. have to have a good grasp on that. And you're, you're, we're always evolving, right? We're always in the state of evolving. Right. But you have to know who you are in that moment and then just work with it and walk in that confidently. And yeah that power and you you opened my eyes to taking back your power you were like don't sit back first of all don't wait in line <laughs> ask for what you want this is right. what you, this is who you ask for what you want like just find your power and and walk in it so i think that's what that's the main one of the precious things that i've got from you is permission to do that yeah and i think moving forward i've learned that i don't need other people to give me that for permission anymore i can give it to myself that's the word yeah. that's the truth and that's the biggest thing that i hear it's it's a grown people and look you know everything that i teach that i've shared with you personally or with the group it's like it's stuff that i've been through too and i think i think what the people who who are attracted to me and who i attract are people who are willing to say hey yeah i can be vulnerable this is what i'm going through this don't feel good. How do I get, how do I deal with the, the rejection, the not feeling, you know, like I'm getting far enough, quick enough, you know, like, and how do, like, how do I deal? How does my heart deal? How does my head deal? How do I deal with having, you know, relationships outside of this industry? Like, it's a lot. So for those of you watching, like, you're not alone, <laughs> which is why I even do these series and why we have the Facebook group is because it really helps to know, like, this is a special kind of industry yes. that we're not, this isn't normal. Like the stuff we have to go through on a daily basis, even trying and putting on characters and absorbing all that energy. So I just, uh, it's a lot, it's a lot. And I think the main problem that I have even to this day, um, but I think it'll lessen the stronger I become in myself is that I, I refuse to be arbitrary. I refuse to be random. I don't want to, my existence isn't arbitrary. It isn't random. And the industry is very good at making us feel like we are just random. Okay, if she's not available, we'll get somebody else that looks just like her. Right. Or we've got to get these eight, 800 submissions down to 50, and then, then we'll send out the invites. And how do you get to that 50? You know, how do you get to that 40, you know, on the casting director's, you know, list to sign out for auditions? And it's just like, right. it's just, time is always, a, it's never about you as an actor. It, it's very, at least that's how it makes you, how the industry feel. 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 Mm -hmm. That you're not important until you're important. But even then, you're still disposable. Right. So it's like, I always had an issue with that because, or I'm, I feel like, well, I'll always have an issue with that because outside of the industry, when I'm just dealing with my personal stuff, I'm constantly healing that. Mm -hmm. I'm constantly trying to tell myself, no, you are special. That's what we tell ourselves, right? We're special. We have this, there's no one else like us walking right. that. That's part of our training, right? right. So and, that is, and that is how we have to arm ourselves because of how the industry, it's a business. It's show business, right? They don't care about your feelings. Right. right so that's why our self-work is so important and that's why also creating things for yourself is important so that even if no one says yes you are your yes 
Yes. You know what I mean? Like we have, and there has to be that balance because otherwise we stay in a constant uh, wanting of uh, from outside of ourselves. And that's why it being, I love that you were talked about being empowered because that is my goal for myself and for my students. Find your own power so that you can at least feel like I have control of something. No one wants to feel like they're not in control of something. I have something I gotta share, hold on. Because I talk about it all the time, but now that I'm interviewing you, I can show everybody again and they can put the, so Marilee gave me this lovely it was for Christmas. It was like this chakra uh, bowl. And so in between sessions, I'll just put, it's, it sits on my desk and I'm like, I love this gift. Just so you know, it always gets used. And I'm, whenever I'm on videos, I'm always talking about this lady who gave it to me. So that's, that's her. <laughs> I, I love we're going to, we're going to wrap in a second, but what do you have? You made a huge leap. You made a huge leap in your career and which is another big success that you made. I know you're still in transition, but I want to just honor you publicly and know that the leap you made is huge. Share what your, the leap was that you made uh, this year. So I moved to Atlanta from Baltimore. I was going back and forth between uh, New York or Atlanta. LA was too far. Um, and I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I moved to Atlanta, but it was between Atlanta and New York. Did I say that? I don't, I don't know if I, mm -hmm. okay. Um, LA was too far. And then it turns out New York was just too expensive for me. And mm -hmm. so Atlanta was the next best thing. So I packed up my little car. Actually, hold on. I saved for a year, oh, a little over a year. Okay, let's not skip that. Because you was hustling. I was you, hustling. It was Zumba. It was modeling gigs. It was everything. I was um, fortunate enough to get some really good uh, print jobs during that year and some change. And I got promoted to a full-time position at a gym, a women's gym that I was working at. Shout out to Brick Bodies. Yes. Um, and uh, yeah, and I was also teaching Zumba. So I, I just stacked those coins, packed my car up and paid rent out for like three months and you know here in atlanta and and here i am so so atlanta you're welcome marilee's <laughs> here <laughs> i'm serious i think you're gonna be a wonderful addition to that market um i really do believe and i told you that a long time ago and it's just a matter of more people knowing that you're there so we're gonna make sure we're gonna tag this video out once you guys once this is out be sure we share and tag um what what is feels where do you see yourself? What's next? What would be the next primo, like ideal? What are you manifesting next for yourself? Um, well, professionally, I'll, I'll just say professionally, I'm manifesting my first um, TV role, um, co-star role. I mean, I would like to have that. I would like to um, have that experience. And then, yeah, I'll just stop right there. Because that's something yeah. I, don't, I don't have. I don't have... Um, that yet and I feel like my career my, where I'm at in my career now that's where I should be I should be auditioning regularly for those those types of roles I agree I should be working regularly on those types of sets doing I stuff. agree so. and there is work in Atlanta and for those of you I just I want you to add a reason why I, again am shouting out Merrily is because I get questions from a lot of you through my DMs some of my other clients some of you who I know are thinking about relocating whether it's to los angeles to atlanta to new york it takes prep yes. i never will lie to you and be like just go girl you know like it takes the main thing is it takes money and it takes preparation because it just does no matter what market you're going to because when you're brand new in a market you don't know nobody you're trying to get settled you probably don't have a job that you got transferred with so I love that Marilee, she, I remember she just hunkered down and was like, I'm working as much as I can because I got to get this money up. So for yeah. those of you who are considering it, that is my biggest tip. And I know some of you specifically talking to you, it can happen. But for her, it was like a year. So sometimes let's not haste. And then, oh, we ran out of money. I can't find a job. Now I'm picking back up, packing back up in six months because I didn't prepare. So I really just am excited for your next journey, Marilee. Um, I'm really grateful to have you in my community and, um, and I'm excited for Atlanta and what's in store for you. I'm excited. Where can people follow you on? I mean, when, once this is, once this is up online, we'll put the links, but just for the sake of the video, are you on, you're on the social webs? I'm on the interwebs. Yes. <laughs> 
I am on the interwebs. Uh, you can catch me at Merrily.Kateri on IG, um, on Twitter, Merrily Kateri, all one word. And I do have a Facebook page, Facebook, Facebook.com backslash act, actress Merrily Kateri. Awesome. No. And we'll, we'll put all those, I'll put all these in links when we post this video. Um, I would love for you to be my next actor success story. If you have not connected with me, if you're like, who are these people? Who is this lady? Get into it. Dive deep. You can stalk me like Marilee did. Just go to my website, go to YouTube. That's what most people do. Just binge, get a feel. But if you're ready and you're tired of sitting in the what if and maybe, you know, I, can you speak to that Marilee before we wrap? For the actor who says they want to be a, a work on TV or film, but they're like, I don't have time. I don't have, I don't have twenty dollars, twenty seven dollars. I don't, I don't have time. Like, where do you fit that in? Even what advice need, do you have for that actor? Then you don't need to be an actor, because it takes all that. It takes your last twenty dollars. It takes your last twenty minutes. It takes, you know, all that. Every inch. It's this career. If you're serious about it, it forces itself to be number one <laughs> in your life. Say that. It, it can, it can hurt relationships. You know, it can strengthen relationships. I don't know. But this is not a career that instantly gives you security and stability. So um, you need to know that. You need to know that it will not happen for you in a year. It will not happen for you overnight. What will happen for you is the instant gratification you will get when you put in 100% every single day. Yeah. You go to bed at night, you know you did everything that you were supposed to do. Or at least 90% anyway. Yeah. The other 10% goes to your agent. Right. <laughs> but you show showing up for yourself on a daily basis, mm -hmm. whatever that looks like. And yes, that means you watching at home who has a nine to five, maybe a six to 10. I mean, that was my reality for many, 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 can I add more many years? It is, but I never lost sight of I was like, I might be at this job and I might be wait busting them tables at night, but I'm an actor. Period. So <laughs> I'm gonna do this so that I can get these headshots. I'm gonna do this so I can take this class. I'm gonna do this so I can move. That's just what it is. Marilee, thank you for being so open, transparent and honest and for letting me shout you out and love on you publicly. Thank um, and thank you for letting me be your, your mentor, your friend, and your guide in this journey. I love you. Yes. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.